How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Jeff Benjamin with the 9to5Mac. Let's talk about the HomePod 14.1 software update. So the HomePod gets a brand new update courtesy of iOS 14.1. So when you install iOS 14.1, you'll have the opportunity to install the 14.1 update on all your HomePods. Now the original HomePod was released almost three years ago, if you can believe that. So I think it's really cool that we get these updates with lots of new features added on. And we're talking about that new intercom feature that was debuted at the iPhone 12 event. And that's sort of the headlining feature of this 14.1 update. And it's a huge feature because it really is useful to be able to intercom with your family. It's almost like a two-way radio feature. And I could see this getting a lot of use, especially since Apple is rolling out the new HomePod mini, which only cost a hundred bucks compared to the more expensive full-size HomePod that costs 300 bucks. So the software update is installed and look right off the bat, you see the intercom feature within the home app settings. And you can toggle on or off the intercom feature for each individual HomePod on your network. So of course I'm gonna keep the intercom feature enabled on the HomePods that I have here. But before we get to testing, I wanted to show you the new splash screens that you get for Welcome to My Home. And then you also get an intercom splash screen as well, explaining how intercom works. And this will work across many of your devices, including your iPhone, your Apple Watch, your HomePod, your HomePod mini, of course. It appears to have only limited functionality at the moment, but once additional software updates are pushed to the phones and to the Apple Watch, it should work very much like Apple demonstrated at their iPhone 12 keynote. Now what's really cool is that you can choose when intercom notifications are delivered to your iPhone. So you can say never or only when I'm home or anywhere. So even if you're out and about, you could stay up to date with what's going on with the family. So I'm gonna choose anywhere there. And then you can also choose who can use intercom from the home app. Uh, so you have a couple of toggles there. And this is the little intercom button in the upper right hand corner of the home app. So you simply tap that How's it going out there, ladies and gentlemen? And talk just like that. How's it going out there, ladies and gentlemen? So that intercom message can be broadcast to all of your HomePods or only select HomePods based on who you address the message to. So you could say intercom everyone, or if you want to be more specific, say something like intercom the kitchen. Intercom to I'm almost home. I'm almost home. Hey, tell everyone that I'm on my way home, so let's get ready to go in just a few, okay? I'm on my way home, so let's get ready to go in just a few, okay? Tell the office, are you finished with work? Are you finished with work? So like I said, I think this is an extremely handy feature to have. But it doesn't stop there. Search the web for 9 to 5 Mac. I found some web results. I'll send them to Jeff's iPhone. So instead of telling you something useless like I can't do that, it actually can search the web and display the results on your iPhone automatically. That's super cool. And I can see myself using that from time to time as well. But what's really going to make all this take off is the introduction of the $99 HomePod Mini. And this is a little device much smaller than the original HomePod, much cheaper as well. Obviously, it's gonna take a hit on sound quality, although Apple says it sounds pretty good. That's still to be determined. I mean, the HomePod sounds so good. I just have a hard time believing that something, a uh, fraction of its size is gonna sound anywhere near as good as the HomePod. But for the Mini, it's more about utility, in my opinion, and the ability to buy multiple Minis and place them all around your house you really can't do, I mean, you could, but you would have to pay a lot of money to, to furnish your home with a bunch of HomePods. And plus the size of the, of the large HomePod is just too big for a lot of spaces, but with the mini, you can basically put it anywhere. Now, another new feature for 14.1 is the ability to play Apple Music, either listen now, browse, radio, or music from your Apple Music library as a wake up alarm. And you know, that's something that you could do locally on your iPhone, but now you can do the same thing. I don't know why this is just now coming to the HomePod, but now you could do the same thing 
on your HomePod, which is a very welcome feature. And there are other new features as well, although I wasn't able to get them working entirely. Uh, for instance, Siri can stop alarms, timers, and media across all HomePod speakers, and even suggestions will appear in maps on your iPhone when you search for a location. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about the 14.1 update? What do you think about the HomePod mini? Are you looking forward to it? Let me know down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.